You are live. You are alive, woman. Are we framed up nicely? Wait, we're framed. Ah! Well, aren't you feeling your Cheerios today? Trying to get wired for the show. Man, I'm getting it set up. I'm getting it set up. Just hold your horses. We have a little delay here from the queen of planning ahead. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, you probably did plan ahead. I just don't know what you planned, and I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. You should be very afraid. No! Do I have to take off my... This? Nope. Okay. Wait, what? <clears throat> I was living on a dime, people. I gotta tell you. What are they doing now? Well, happy Friday if you're watching. I'm trying to load this up. Hello, everyone. Hello. There we are. Linda, Carrie, Jennifer, Godfrey, Carrie, Kat, Jackie, Debbie, you lady, <coughs> Tammy, Karen, Sharon, Marianne. Oh, I forgot. All right. And then over here we have Dave, Dave, Dave. Today we are talking about how to save money on paper towels. All right, we can do this, people. You can save money on paper towels? Yes. Sorry. Wait, what All right. about, didn't we get a gift today? Can we we got a gift today. Happy Friday, is friends. Is Darren on there, though? Can we open that before we get into all uh, the Is Darren on? Let me check. If he's not, do you want to, well, shall we wait and see if he comes on? Uh, he's not. Okay. It's not. He can leave the back door open. If he hasn't checked in on Facebook yet. Like my new shirt, mom. Like my new shirt. I love it. I figured out I was tying it wrong. I'm not mom, but. Oh, thank you, like Crystal. Like my new haircut. <laughs> Do I look lovely? No. Your mom says, "Wow, your hair is cute," and love the top. Crystal says, "Hi, guys. Cute outfits today." Thank Yay. you. I decided to dress up for the vomit show. <laughs> what? We're on the Ooh, Des today. says baseball practice today. First oh baseball practice. Oh. All right. Would be a good day here, but tomorrow won't be. Well, tomorrow will be too. How to save on paper towels? All oh, right. Darren is here. Yay! Oh, Darren! Yay! Darren! 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 Dun dun dun! Darren, how are you holding up with the uh, snow and all that? Or do you have snow there too? I assume. So. Sue was telling us it was depressing having all that Dave early weather. looked on the front of the package on the customs form and it says tea and chocolate. <gasps> what? And Dave said, Mom, I'm sure the chocolate is for me only because Wait, Darren's what? name starts with a D too and my name starts with a D. So we have that connection. Yeah, we have that connection. That like you know. Oh, you know. I haven't tried cup. that one. Ha! Darren says freezing, wow. and I don't think that means. I think that means freezing temperature. Look at that Royal Mel. Wow. We're that special. Very <laughs> cool. Oh, my favorite. Thank you. <laughs> oh my Ooh, gosh. Yeah. Oh, it's Belgian chocolate. Ooh, Ooh. Twinings. Do we try love a bite? Twinings is my favorite too. Mm. Should we try I have a bite? No idea. Dude, okay. which one is this? Let's see. Ooh, uh, I don't know, but it looks delicious. Ooh. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, I know what this is. Ooh, it has it has Nuts. yummy stuff in it. Ooh, it has almonds. Mmm. <laughs> here you go, Dave. Here's a piece. Mmm. <laughs> oh, ma'am. I think mm -hmm. America got gypped on the chocolate. That department. is delicious. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, dude, ma'am. Mm -hmm. That is yummy. Ma'am. Okay. Oh, you had some frightening you know, reactions when you said you vomit said, oh, show. Can I have one more piece? Uh, can I have just one more piece? You may have one more piece. Okay. Are you going to use the paper towels on Mike's arm this time? No, I have something else planned. <laughs> Mike, you can save money on everything. Okay. Tara looks lovely. Yes. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I got this for $3 for the shirt. Three dollars for the pants at the thrift store today. All right. Nice. Oh, just ignore my Crocs here. My feet hurt. <laughs> See, I'm all dressed Crocs. up. See, okay. my Crocs have been absorbed. <laughs> oh, hey, Sue from Massachusetts says new to our channel. Well, welcome. welcome. Glad you're here. Okay. First of all, we are Tara and Mike from LivingOnADime.com. I am the author of the Dining on a Dime Cookbook. 
What? And in this cookbook, I have everything, including how to make cheeseburger rolls, homemade wipes. So let me find the page here. Homemade wipes. Can you tell what Dave's favorite recipe is? If you didn't already know. Okay. So we have homemade baby wipes on page 415. And then the cleaning wipes. Now Mike will share the cleaning wipes on, well, where'd it go? On our website was actually one of our most popular articles in our website. Page 405, homemade cleaning wipes. Stop buying Clorox wipes, people. It's a waste of money. Do I have to go find it? Yes. Hmm. Okay, so you can make your own homemade wipes. But honestly, I think wipes are a waste of money all the way around. All right. So <coughs> go to livingonadime.com. Well, you have we an have, opinion, I guess, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we have um, <laughs> our homemade disinfecting Clorox wipes on our website. Mike's going to share a link right now. But we're going to talk about, I did the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. People. You have to say people. Oh, you did very good. Yeah. Well, everybody else was waiting for it, so. So I tested all of these paper towels and an assortment of alternate paper towels. Okay? Well, those aren't our paper. They're just towels. Now. And then BJ today got me these microfiber cleaning cloths because people were hollering about that. I hate microfiber. So we'll test this on the show and see what happens because a lot of people swear by those. Now, you are getting a lot of compliments, woman. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's I dressed for the occasion. Yep. Maybe you should take me out tonight for dinner. Actually, some people are saying it looks like we're going out without the kids later. <laughs> Maybe we should. Not really. Okay. So, how did I test all these paper towels? I have no idea. I wasn't a part of it. And which one came out on top? Now, I will tell you, first of all, Mike's going to put the link on our paper towel, um, on our paper towel article on the website. Now, before I get in any further, I forgot, so I don't forget. Guys, if you're on Facebook, on the top of your of your phone or your computer on your news feed it'll have a little circle with our picture living on dime or if you're in our save on groceries facebook page it'll say save on groceries when we put up a new video it shows up right there so now you guys can start getting notified Whoa. about that more uh efficiently than facebook is been going go patrol patrol me and What's uh, two families whacked? Seriously, we've only been on four minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, two family. We get oh. to see them in less than a week. <gasps> this time in a week, we'll be sitting with two family and Alderman Farms doing the show. Oh, that'll be awesome. Oh, by the way, guys, because I plan ahead, we're going to do on Friday's show, we're going to do um, your two top Gardening tips for a beginner gardener. We're going to talk about beginning gardening on Friday's show, okay? Wait, hold up. <laughs> We're going to Wiggins, Mississippi for the conference at, at Deep South Homestead, March 11th, 10 a.m. We are going to be there. Oh, sorry. And we're going to hopefully meet all of you guys. Oh. Whoa. Let me share that. Link at this real point, quick. you might as well just call it. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Go ahead. At this point, you might just call it a convention because it's a convention. There's so many yeah, people. there's we're getting a lot of people coming. Okay, now I will say when I went to do the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018, I don't use paper towels that often. We go through about four to six, not even six now. We we would use about six rolls a we year have when we had. Two cats that were puking, we used about six rolls a year. Now those two cats are gone. We love you, Penny in heaven. And um Wait, we, you said two and then you only said oh, one. We love you, Penny in heaven. Sandy we had to give away. Um so Penny died, Sandy we had to give away. And now we're only left with one, and thankfully he doesn't puke that often. 
So I don't really use paper towels. What do I use paper towels for? I use them to clean the window. Toilet. I use them to clean the toilet and the sink. And that's about it. I don't really use them for anything else. We do not dry our hands with them. We do not dry the table, the countertop, nothing like that with them. Now, what prompted me to do this was on our How to Save on Groceries Facebook group. Michael put the link there. We were talking about um, paper towels. And there were some people on there, and there was a few people who said, yeah, I spend $40 a month on paper towels. And another lady was like, I spend $75 a month on paper a towels. Month? A month? I spend so, $7 a year on paper towels for my car. Oh, not even that much. You don't even spend that much. You spend like I a get, dollar a year. I get like two of them a year because I get one and then it disappears. So um, I wanted to show you guys how to use paper towels and what to use instead of paper towels and which paper towels are actually the cheapest, which you'll be kind of surprised about, I think. Now, the other thing I wanted to address, there's a new thing called unpaper towels. Now, I will be perfectly frank, because you know me, I can't not be perfectly frank. I think that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. When I first saw that article several years ago, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Seriously, we can't just <coughs> call them rags. No, we have to call them unpaper towels. Guys, that's ridiculous. It's just rags. Don't waste a lot of money going to the fabric store to buy a whole bunch of fabric, cut it up to make paper towels and pile them on your kitchen counter. That's crazy. I'm sorry, but it is. So rags are just rags. Just rags are rags. They have been since grandma was around. So this whole unpaper towel thing, mom and I were just shaking our heads because we were like, this is crazy. Jack, what? don't come on the show with your shirt. And, um, so we uh <laughs> we're gonna show you how we do our on paper towels but um don't waste money guys going to the store and making a whole bunch of paper towels now the number one way i save on paper towels is i do not have them on my counter anywhere you will never see paper towels on my counter except for this show right here why do I have paper? Do I have paper towels on the counter every day? Do you? No, never. We don't. I do not. If you not. did, PJ probably come in and go. That's <laughs> why I don't have paper towels. Thirty on feet there. of paper towels. I keep my paper towels underneath the sink at the back, so it's very difficult for everyone to get to. And that's how we use four paper towel rolls a year or so. I use a wash rag, I use a dishcloth, and I use racks. Okay? All right, now, for. Is it really bad tonight? No, I was just commenting. Mm. So, so, now, to save on. Oh, very interesting. Um, if you want to buy paper towels and you want to save on them, I have gone through and did the paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. Uh oh, Mike is scared. We're so, getting out accessories now. <laughs> so I have my water here. Now I'm not gonna go through every single paper towel, but I'm gonna go through and show you. This is similar to the um, toilet paper test, okay? So, um. I don't wanna know what that is. It's food coloring. It's kind of cool how it just sits in there and... Oh, you can't see it so well here. <laughs> right. Isn't that cool? You guys are making blood? Is that what it is? Okay, so... In what situation does someone bleed all over the place to where you have to clean it up? I know. Alright. So why don't we just do the test like they do on commercials where they spill a little bit on the... Ooh. I am a professional. Bunny has right. the cliff notes. I have good rags, not so good rags, and bad rags to toss. Yes. And Very we're going nice. to talk about that in just a minute. So 
I'm gonna show you how I tested all of these. Now, you guys will actually probably be surprised with the results of this. I was actually a little surprised with which paper towels were the best. Now, what I did was I took a quarter of a cup. Do I need to take this off? Of, no. <laughs> I, not yet. Oh, oh no. I took a quarter of a cup and we'll simulate red Kool-Aid, okay? Do you want me to go down? Yeah, go ahead and go down. Now, um, what I did was I poured the Kool-Aid on the counter, okay? And, um... That looks like Kool-Aid. <laughs> ah, too funny. And then what I did was I took and... You know what? I better get my apron on here. Ruin my nice new shirt with red food coloring. That would really hack me off. You're going to ruin your Paris apron with... Red food coloring? No, it won't stay in the Paris apron. Um, but Mala, definitely don't want to mess up your nice new shirt. Okay. Mala wants to know if it's going to stay in Mike's clothes or his arm. Who? Not, not at this moment, it won't. Okay, no. so now I got these rags, wash rags for five, for five dollars. Work really good. There's a string. I hate strings. Okay, so wash rags. Let's see how quick it soaks up red Kool-Aid. Okay, so... Here we go, we're wiping it up, looking pretty good. Looking good. Now I'd probably rinse it if it was me. And it is me, so I'm gonna do that. So they're still wet there. <laughs> so <laughs> Mike then, has to be the voice of doom. So then I wipe it down with my wash rag. And then I take my dish towel and I dry it down. Now, there you go. I mean, that took what? A minute maybe? I actually timed it yesterday. And on our paper towel test, on the website, you'll see how long it took, how many sheets I had to use per wipe, and how many... <laughs> I'm um, sorry, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> you're having flashbacks? Yes. Uh, <laughs> and um, how much it cost. Now, that's how I do it with a wash rag and dish towel. Basically free, people, basically free. I have dish towels and wash rags that I bought six years ago and I'm still using, and they were five for a dollar. So I figured on the wash rag, I cost me 0 .0016 cents per use. So I don't even know, in what, is, what would, Point zero zero one B. Uh, one hundredth of a penny. <coughs> Wait, point zero zero one. Yeah, is this one hundredth? No, that's of one thousandth of a penny. One thousandth of a penny. Yeah. Well, that's... no. Point zero zero. Oh, that's a tenth of a penny. Point it's not a tenth. I know it's not a tenth. Well, point zero zero one. Oh well, yeah, that's a hundred. Okay. I'm sorry. So it right, takes one hundredth of a penny for a wash rag and dish towel. See, I was now. Testing you. Okay, come back up for just a second, Dave. Okay, so I, someone had a question about tagging people on YouTube. If you want to tag people, you just do the and the, the at sign, like in emails and stuff. Then you start typing the person's name and it'll bring up a list with the Does people. Does it work on you yeah. at, on YouTube? Yeah, it works on YouTube. Oh, okay. Okay, now for the, for the wash rags and um, dish towels. <coughs> I have... Dish towels that are newer, that I use for the kitchen regularly. I have dish towels that are looking a little bit worse for wear. These I use for cleaning around the house. And then I have dish towels that really are headed for, they just look nasty. Headed for destruction. And these are the ones that I use for cleaning oil and that kind of thing. Oh. Now. Amy was asking where do I get that kind of wash rag? Which one is she talking about? This one? I, have, I don't remember where. Amy I think I got this in Pennsylvania, actually. It's Amy in Australia. <laughs> okay, well. Amy <laughs> Okay, so now the one, the number one, uh, how do I say? The number one excuse, I'm going to say excuse because that's what it is, okay? <laughs> the number one excuse people have for not using 
a wash rag, and a dish towel to wipe up is they don't want to do extra laundry. Okay. Now, I pulled out an entire week's worth of wash rags and towels. Do you Seriously, use that many? people. I don't remember ever seeing that many being used. This is about what we go through in a week. Really? What, so what I do is I have one wash rag and one dish towel and I change them every day. Because the second excuse people use for not wanting to use a wash rag and dish towels is germs. Now, I will be perfectly frank and say if you're a germaphobe, I'm probably not going to be able to help you. So you can watch for your pure entertainment, but if you're here to save money, I probably won't be able to help you. So laundry excuse guys this is hardly any laundry at all i just throw it in i have white wash rags dish towels and bath towels everything is white i throw them in the washer once a week with some bleach i get everything all sanitized when the wash rags are wet and they're we're done for the day I will put them over the laundry basket to dry. Thankfully here in Colorado, they dry quickly. When the wash rag is done being used for dishes, then I will wipe up along the floor on my way to the laundry room, wipe fingerprints off, those kinds of things. Get all those nasty stuff taken care of, okay? A lot of people worried about Mike's arm, Mike's shirt. <clears throat> you better be worried. Oh okay. no. Now, this is not that much laundry, people. Get over it. Seriously. Now, the next excuse is the germophobias. Here's the thing. I had one lady actually tell me she washes her hands and uses a paper towel because she doesn't want her washed hands getting germs on the towel. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Now, if you wash your hands, which you should, they're clean. Your towel is clean. If you wipe down your counter, it's clean. It's fine. Now, you just need to bleach one load a week. Not hardly anything. Bleach is not going to kill you. Don't use vinegar. It does not, I don't care what the internet says, it does not disinfect as well as bleach. Okay? Now, <clears throat> let's see. Am I done with that little lecture? I didn't hear if you said, but... We don't use it, we don't really use, well, sometimes we'll have a wash rag that, we, we'll try to not use things for like chicken blood and stuff like that, unless it's, no, if okay. it's a rag that's okay. about to go into the bleach. So, so chicken, so here's what I do with chicken blood, spills on the floor and that kind of thing. Spills on the floor, I take the sink wash rag, wipe it up, it goes straight into the laundry. I do not wipe the floor and then wipe my dishes. It goes into the laundry where it will be bleached. <laughs> where it will be bleached. Then, for chicken blood and stuff like that, I use a little bit of bleach in the sink to wipe everything down that I touched or maybe touched or maybe it splatted on. And then that rag goes into the laundry to be bleached and cleaned. Now, another thing is people said they use paper towels under their meat in the refrigerator. I just take a towel. I just take a towel and put it under my meat, my meat that's um, that is uh, defrosting in the fridge. Now it's better to put it in a bowl, but why I use a towel is because the bowls don't always fit in my freezer for the amount of meat that I'm defrosting. So that's why I don't always use a bowl. Okay? So she may have posted it before you explained, but Karen was saying. Uh... I don't know, now there are two stained rags. If it were red or greasy, I'd use a disposable paper towel. But now, okay, now that is true, although I haven't had any problems. Um, if you rinse the red out as soon as you wipe it up, it won't stain. With cold water? I just, yeah, so what I do is as soon as it's red, if it's red or colored or whatever, or coffee, I just run over, get it all wet, Rinse it all out really well. Hold on, let me show you just a second. Okay, right there. The red is gone, okay? 
Basically the red's gone. The trick is to rinse it out immediately after you're done mopping up whatever stain it is, okay? And put soap on it. <clears throat> and you can do soap too. That now, helps it if it's like super, super in there. And yes. Dies. Now, the next thing that I tested was just a regular rag. Now, this is a towel that I cut up, okay? And we're just going to see how quick and easy it goes. So she's not torturing Mike yet. Not yet, just wait, okay? Yeah. All right, now, this one would need to be rinsed again and then wiped one last time. Just like that, okay? There you go. So, a regular old towel actually works really well. Take another one and dry it. You have two things. Um... A number of people are just joining us and they're wondering what this is about. So I'm testing paper towels and different methods for wiping up spills other than paper towels. Okay. And I'll share that link again. And we tested all these paper towels. Okay. Now the next things I tested was I found these at the store and these are called oops, multi-purpose claws. And these were 10 for $5. And then the Skoy, which I just got, you guys will remember two months ago and I've been testing it out. Now, what was interesting was I had never seen these before, but look how strong these are. What are those? Well, so let's see. What are they made of? Does it say? Oh, the oops. <laughs> they're, they're polyester and vis, viscose. I have never heard of viscose. But what was interesting with this was... Okay, here you go again. There's our little quarter of a cup. Dave, stop playing on your iPad and get to work. <clears throat> okay, what's, come down. It's so, not his iPad, it's the school's iPad. So, Just yeah. so you know, we don't buy them that sort no. of thing. So this, what I like about this is it's extra large and you can just like flop it on the whole thing and it takes care of it. But here's the thing, let me rinse it out. Huh. It says rayon fabric or fiber made from it interesting okay hmm. so here's the thing what I like about this is that it's extra big and that it actually I feel it's soaked up a little bit better than just a wash rag or a paper towel now the skoy which I've had for two nuts now and I've been testing these were a dollar each and they actually soak better when they're wet. But you can see the skoy actually absorbs more, it seems like, and holds more in, I think. Um, and then also with these, you throw them in the microwave and microwave them to get them really dry. Now, <coughs> what's interesting about these here, so here's the one I've been using for two months, okay? It's looking pretty rough, but I'm, I'm keeping it going to see how far it gets. What I like about this is that it soaks up better and it cleans like a sponge, but it absorbs like a paper towel. And it's actually really strong. And you can throw these in the washing machine, you can throw them in the dishwasher, and you can microwave them for a minute wet and they will be sterilized. So I think they're they're like a wash rag, but they're more disposable, but they absorb a little bit better, I thought. Okay? Christine's asking, where did you get the oops? So this I got at my regular um, grocery store, and I figured I have not tested the longevity of these. But man, it's pretty strong, so I bet this would go for quite a while. You want to try that? And this one I've already had two months. I sterilize it every day. I've had it two months, and it's still going pretty good. Oh. Now, what I like about this, too, is that it's streak-free. I think they're asking to see the package again. <clears throat> I think it's for the oops. Two families asked. Right there. And where did Can you, you purchase it again? Can you see if there's an Amazon link? Um, this I got at my grocery store. I just happened when I was getting all the paper towels, had that one, okay? So, now, Dave, go ahead and come back to me for just a second. All right, now, so, of all of the non-traditional paper towels 
The wash rag and the towels, period, are the cheapest, flat out. Quite frankly, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using them, okay? Um, <clears throat> but, nothing? Wow, okay. Um, but, I also know that you need paper towels for some things. Now. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Because there was a question asked a while ago, but I just was waiting for a moment. Um, what do you use at the dinner table by each person's plate? Okay. So I think a lot of people use paper towels for that. We use paper napkins. Now, I will say, here's the thing. You guys are going to think I'm being, hy uh, what's, oh, what's the word? Hypocritical. Word? Hypocritical. You think I'm going to be hypocritical, You're not but. not hypochondriac. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are going to think I'm being hypocritical, but I don't want to do the extra laundry of napkins. And I know that sounds dumb, but we go through four of these, four to six of these a day. And they are less than a half a cent. They're about a third of a cent each from Walmart. We usually use one for dinner and occasionally if I'm sitting at the table and I need to blow my nose or something, I'll just grab this. Okay. So we use four to six of these a day. They're just the cheapy Walmart family napkins. 300 pack. That's what we use. We don't use paper towels for well, and that. Most of the family doesn't even use them. No. I do. And Jack does. Well, I think four, four is about average on what we use a day. Okay. Now, for the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. So, <laughs> I went through... And what I did was I poured water on, here we go, Dave. I poured a quarter of a cup of water whoa, ah, <laughs> on the counter and well, those I cleaning tested, cloths are just, yeah. I was just gonna say, look, it just runs right to the cleaning cloth. <laughs> I tested, what I did was I took one paper towel, put it on here, sopped up what I could, okay. Got as much as I can there. Got paper towel number two. Sopping that up. Okay, and then paper towel number three. Now, this is the Bounty Select Size. And it took about three paper towels to get a nice, totally dry surface. Now, what? I think those commercials are rigged because for some reason on all the Bounty commercials and stuff, they wipe up and it's all gone right away. Yes. I think they use like three rag, three paper towels together or something. Small break to say. Shannon says your hair looks fabulous. Thank you. I had her recut it today. She put 20 smiley faces, so that really means fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I had her recut it. She was really nice about it. She did a great job, so I'm so happy. Okay, now the big debate over paper towels was... Off brand or off brand? Do the thick, oh, thick Fiva cost less than the cheap, these are called black and white, I guess generic, than the cheap black and white, I was wondering what or those were. is Bounty's thickness actually better? Hey Dad, it's Star Wars. Yes, it's Star Wars for you, honey. You should hmm. keep those in your phone. Oh, wait, really you're like mad BB. at Star Wars. BB Never mind. BB. Sorry. No, no, you're no. mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was okay with BB-8. BB-8. Okay. Didn't betray me. So, <laughs> what I did was I went and poured my quarter of a cup of water. Here we go, Dave. Oh, I no. poured my quarter of a cup of water on the counter, and I tested. Now, here's the generic black and white. Now, I've already done the test, so I'll tell you, it took 10 of these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it took this much paper towel to sop up for the generic. Okay, so you guys see this happening right there. Okay, 10 paper towels is what it took. But, what was interesting was I did the same thing. Okay, here we go. Uh, With what is that? the what? Viva. What? And what was interesting was, okay, so I needed four Vivas. One, two, three, four. That looks like blood from meat on the camera. 
So the Viva actually took four to soak up all of this, okay? But what was interesting was even though the Viva is thicker and it uses less paper towels, go ahead and come up for a minute, uses less paper towels, once again, you cannot go <coughs> by how many sheets you get on a roll. You have to go by how many sheets do you need for a wipe. No one has figured this out. This is groundbreaking, dear. It is? I think we should call CNN, Fox, ABC, NBC, and CBS, and they need to interview me. But what about like the English? I'm serious. It is per wipe, people. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Here's the thing. Even though this took 10 and this only took 4, guess which one's cheaper? The one that took 10? No. The one, that... the one that took 10 is actually cheaper by almost half. Well, I just thought because it was the answer that didn't make sense. Sorry. Wait, how did you do that? Because I went and figured how many sheets I need per wipe, which is 10, and then I divided it on the price. And I broke down all the prices on our website. You guys can go check them out and see. So when we did, when I did the great paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. Did you, wait, did you <coughs> add it to the equation that both of those had two different numbers of roll? I mean, yes. When you get them up, I we did. do have a couple yes. questions. Okay, so, all right, let me take the questions and then I'm going to tell you which paper towel out of all of these is actually the cheapest, okay? Go for it. Just a couple questions. We had, um, let's see, Bonnie asked, what do you use when you make fries and fried chicken or other oily foods? I do use paper towels. But if I'm out of paper towels, I'll use a rag and throw it away. And I'm going to show you like guys I'm, how I use rags in just a little bit. We always have extra rags and we have like different classes of rags. And so the really gnarly yeah. rags get used for them. And we're going to get to that in just a minute. Okay. And uh, Madeline was asking, do you use, did you test J cloths as well? I don't, I don't know what J cloths are. are. I've never heard of that. I don't know. So I guess not then. Okay. Sorry. So I tested all 10 of these and the cheapest, besides a wash rag, the cheapest actual everyday paper towel is, oops, where'd it go? Oh, you ready? Are you ready? Here. The Everyday Strong Split Sheet Walmart brand. What? One. One. Now one? This is only one. one in a package, not oh, a double single pack. pack. The single pack. So because Walmart's multiple packs are not. Walmart's multiple packs are not cheaper. It's funny because their packaging a lot of times says yeah. like save or something like that. So you think if you get the mega rolls and the double rolls and all that, you're saving? But sometimes you're the packages not. actually say you're saving and you're not. I know, I know. So the second one that was the cheapest was, okay, was the same one actually in the two pack so in this case it actually was a, the second cheapest but it wasn't the cheapest then the next one was the where'd it go oh man I'm uh, oh the next one was the cheapy black and white generic paper towels really even though you had to use more yeah, it was actually good. cheaper okay then the next one was the Walmart Extra Strong. So the Walmart brands, pretty much if you get any of the Walmart <coughs> brands, these are the cheapest. Really? Yeah. They're, they're basically the cheapest all the did way around. To, oh, I didn't hear. Did you try like the Costco ones and the I did Target not ones do, and stuff like that? I did not do Target. I did not do Costco. I only went to Walmart because everybody has a Walmart. And that was an easy way to keep it straight along the board. Costco might be cheaper. I don't know. I did not test the paper towels this time. Okay. Now. <clears throat> now we will test the softness of the towel against the arm. Then. By the way, well, we're going to test one more thing here. Okay. By the way, Tammy's on. She said hi. Hello, my cousin. Yep. Get to typesetting, girlfriend. <laughs> she said, no, I know not getting anything done watching. <laughs> that, everybody tell my cousin she is our typesetter. Tell her, get to typesetting. Get it together. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, See, that's why you live over there and we live over here. <laughs> so you can... Okay, so next was the brawny. So the brawny was the next cheapest. 
And then the bounty select a size. And then Viva, then Viva. Once again, guys, Scott is not a good brand. You guys need to stop buying all this Scott stuff. It is not good. It is not cheap. Are the paper towels supposed to be flushable? I don't know, but I mean, they're I not cheap. I wouldn't know really. The flush Scott paper toilet towels, paper but... and the Scott paper towels were one of the most expensive. All right, then the next expensive was the Bounty Basic, and then actually the Sparkle. Surprisingly, the Sparkle was the second from the top for being the most expensive, and then the very last was. Whoops, I think I got my bounties mixed up. But anyway. Oh man. The very last was. Where'd my other bounty go? Oh. Where'd it go? Madam M says you must have spent a fortune on the paper towels for your test. Then the very most expensive was the bounty like this. Just the cheapy bounty. The, the skinny one. The cheapy, the really thin, skinny roll. not the thick bounty. Yep, that was the most expensive one. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Let's test real quick, since BJ bought it for me, the microfiber. I hate microfiber. But everybody kept swearing how much they love microfiber. I don't like it. Uh, two Family Home says asking if you didn't you didn't purchase Members Mark to test. I don't know what brand that is. I have no What's idea. Mark? I have no idea. Hmm. Some okay, so here's like here stuff. is microfiber. Oh, actually, look, it really absorbed it well. Wow. wow. <laughs> totally, totally dry, but. But that's pretty good. But okay. Pretty good. I stand corrected. That actually did really well. Carolyn right. says, as an engineer, I love the white, the per white math. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the puke test. Okay. Oh, we're still getting oops questions. We looked online and we were having trouble finding them online. Uh, oh, made in China, designed in Canada. Hmm. I don't know. We looked on Amazon and they don't have them on there. It says oops for spills and thrills. What? Okay, Wait a minute. Here we go. Ah. Oops, I should have taken your glasses off. Ah. Okay. Where'd they go? Now, <laughs> Just here we go. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Do I need to move All the computer? Right. Yeah. I think maybe I prefer it this way. Now we're going to do the puke test. No. Or the paper towel test for the betterment of mankind 2018. Do I even want to know why you're doing okay, this? Okay, here we go. Here, Dave, save Dave, the computer. Just save the computer. So. What about my jeans? So we have our wonderful can of vegetable soup here poured in our yogurt. Get the mouse. Whoa. Okay. I don't even want to know what we're doing here. Here we go. Well, that doesn't look like puke. That looks like it's going to be. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, here we go. Mike's got the so, red one. That's a scary thought. We're going to do. The puke test for the betterment of mankind, 2018. Are you ready? So, none of my family it? members wanted to volunteer to hurl this out of their mouth. So, here we go. <laughs> Dude, this computer's all covered. <laughs> wow. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> no, I want the scoy. Okay. It works better. <laughs> Just get it covered. Oh, Just what? cover the whole thing no, up. No, you got oh. every, everything. What? Here, cover it up. Uh, okay, here we go. One more. Wait, 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 wait. Let me throw my body over it. Ready? Whoa! Uh, there you go. Okay. Oh, computer now, has it. we have just simulated. I think Mike is a casualty. <laughs> Mike is a casualty. Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Ew! <laughs> amount of paper towel. Well, I know, but that's a lot of puke. Actually, a lot of people were saying they use it mostly for like cleaning up dog messes and stuff. Well, that's what I was thinking. So see, I have three here of the bounty and that's still really not enough. 
Uh, we're going to have to do a lot of cleaning for our equipment after this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it would splat that far. I'm sorry. It's like okay. it's on your computer, it's on the Oh tripod. my goodness, it's on everything, isn't it? Okay, <coughs> my wow. Wife. So that's three, this is four, five. And we're still cleaning. So I would say, I would say you probably need six paper towels to clean it up. Everyone's laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, look at this! You really got splatted. I'm so wait, sorry. Wait, you have to show. <laughs> yeah, oh, she wait, wait, wait. she oh, totally man. got me. I, I needed a mask and some tongs. Okay, so we're gonna do it one more time. Here, Dave, cover. Have Dad cover. It's starting to cover my nose. Have Dad cover. We're gonna splat one more time. It kind of smells a little more like oh. Okay. Wait, okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, we don't have I the apple care over drink. here. Wait, my iPad. Wait, covering my face. Wait, no, not yet. No! No! Woo! Oh! 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 That one landed in the sink. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we have puke number two. You have to okay. Know. Huh? Actually, it does smell kind of stinky. It's even on the cookbook. Uh, you know, okay. without even having been in somebody's stomach, it still smells stinky. <laughs> Where did my cheapy generic ones go? <laughs> Whoops! Where'd they go? Cheapy generic paper towels. Yeah. Those. The black ones. The black ones. Over there. Oh, here they are. Okay, so oh now. Oh goodness, woman! You got stuff all over me. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. So the last one we needed six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll start with ten since that's what we needed for the water. Okay. Wait, what? Why are you doing ten instead of six? Well, because that's how much I needed for each of them. So let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, I'm not down. Wow. Oh, here I just, oh, we got to do it again? No. No, they can see how many. Okay, so I here is 10 of the cheap ones, and that's really not enough. Okay, so now let's wipe. Okay, that's really 10. nasty. That is really nasty. <laughs> so let's see, we have 10, 11, 12, 13. So it took 13 of the cheap ones. So it's still cheaper, actually, to do the. You can go ahead, Dave, and come up. So it's still cheaper Wait, to you actually just did only use those two kinds. Yeah. Well, you want me to do more? Um, probably not. I do thought, they want more, Dave? I thought you would no, revolt. No. That is nasty. That really stinks. <laughs> Lord, we gotta get some smelling salts in here. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Uh -oh. Can I take this off then? Yes. How I do the rags. Okay? She's gonna spot puke on that thing there. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that is nasty. I'm... You got it in my hair. Y'all are glad this is not smell vision today. <laughs> okay, now I want to show you guys something. This right here is our rag storage bin. I, I, I get fresh with the talent here. Oh, me? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, is it safe to bring the computer it's back? It's safe, yes. This, I have a three bin thing. And two of the bins I keep my rags in. Now this one is for the wash rags, the socks, the bigger t-shirts for like Jack doing painting, and a few cut up t-shirts. Now, these two rag bins stay in my laundry room full all the time. Oh, I'm afraid to drink out of this. All of, <laughs> all of the kids know that if ever they need a rag for anything, for cleaning up oil or whatever, they can get one out of these two bins and mom does not care. You touch my kitchen sink one and you get grease and oil and all of that all over it. Mom you is not happy. Mom is not happy. But... Um, <clears throat> These ones here, if everybody um, uses them, I don't care. Now, these are our rags that if they throw them away, I don't care. But I do kind of prioritize them. So like the wash rags that aren't working for me very good anymore, I'll reuse these for dusting and stuff <coughs> like that. Throw them in the washer and um, just clean them. And be done with them. What it happened? It's a wicked nasty smell, woman. I'm sorry. Somebody said I can't see. I, I'm waiting to see the Kleenex test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I have it dusted over here. I have the whole clean. Here, turn around, Dave. Show them all the Kleenex boxes lined up. We've been testing the Kleenex boxes right there. BJ was saying, Keep going what's up quick. with all the Kleenex? I'm like, yeah. See, right there. I'm going to make you blow your nose on way. camera. Oh, okay. Oh, Hold on. Dave's going to show you guys. Let me pop the camera off really quick. Wow, everybody was laughing about all that. She's definitely a pro. Mike is a good sport. Dinner, I'm anyone? sorry, my love. There is the tissue that, boxes. That is a good weight loss formula. Oh, yeah. Brenda says, papers definitely for puking messes. <laughs> okay, so I keep all my rags in these two Laura is having a little bins. too much fun. Now, <laughs> now, if you see this pile here, can I see this pile now, Dave? Mm -hmm. This here is my pile of rags that I'm getting ready to cut up for rags. And I'm going to show you how I cut them up. BJ went through his closet and got rid of all the t-shirts he's had for the last five years, I think. Tanya says, yes, you don't want moisture breakthrough when you're cleaning puke. No, you do not. These scientific studies are a hoot. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you mom's method of cutting up rags, <laughs> cutting up shirts, t-shirts to make rags. And okay? you know what's scary is this is... Totally accurate. Come down. Christine yeah. says we need to start charging for our entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's get the camera down here so you guys can see. <clears throat> okay. Never look at toilet paper and paper towels the same way. <laughs> you can sit down and relax, dear. I'm, I'm not going to do scared. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Okay. So <clears throat> now let me show you how to cut a t shirt to get the most out of it, okay? So here's the t-shirt. You start with the arms, take your cutting mat, take your um, rotary blade. If you don't have a rotary blade, you can use scissors which have puke on them. <laughs> and you just go whoosh, just like that. Oops, my cutting mat's not the best. Oh dear, my cutting mat is horrible actually. I don't know if my cutting, nice. my cutting mat is too huge. Hold on. So you need to have oh good grief. Dave, show him what Dad's doing. You dingling. I'm trying to keep myself. <laughs> it was just yogurt Here. and vegetable soup. Okay, there. Now can you smell? Wait, it? is that Mom's? No. <laughs> You're gonna blind me. I wasn't looking which direction. Oh, it's got my mouth. Oh, oh man. Oops. Oh, that smells much better. Oh my goodness, that's messy. Sorry. Mike was just thinking, I don't know, the smell of other stuff is going to make me, it's going to make me make it real, man. Spray it into the air. No, no more spraying. That just blinded me and, oh my goodness, that stuff was nasty. Okay. Was I don't know good. if my cutting board is going to work. My cutting board is not working. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Mike throwing himself on the computer to save is the funniest thing I've seen all week. <laughs> okay. So when all else fails, use this. All right, so you cut off the arms first, okay? One arm. Oh my goodness, this show has gone downhill so quickly. Okay, the second, the second arm, get it cut off, okay? <clears throat> I don't have a proper cutting mat. Okay, then what you do is you can leave the arms like that but I usually go and do the arms like this. I'll cut off the, um, what do you call it? The seam and do it like that. Now you can just rip it if it'll rip, but these are not old enough yet. Okay. Don't cut yourself with that rotary cutter your I mom know. was saying. So right there, so there's two racks. So then. Wait, you're cutting up that shirt? <laughs> Christmas engineer. Whatever. So then, what I do is I cut down the middle on the side here. So I just cut the sides. Yeah. You need to keep the front part so then we can frame it up. It's a funny one. <laughs> okay, so I just cut down one side. And then I cut down another side. Okay. Now, guys, I just do this while I'm watching TV, okay? I don't sit and spend a ton of time during the day doing this. Just whenever I'm watching TV, I just sit and do this, okay? All right, so Dave wants me to keep the front. This was BJ's favorite shirt. 
pretty cute lighting engineer. He was always into Christmas lights. So oh, then... Oh, you cut BJ's shirt. Well, apparently everybody else. So then what I'll do is I'll cut this into probably half and then thirds, okay? And since I don't have a cutting board that's big enough, just cut it down in half like so. Boop de doop de doop. Boop de doop de doop. Now you just use whatever size cleaning rags you guys need, okay? So don't get all stressed out about it, but I just cut it down. And then I know BJ needs bigger ones for his car work, so I'll leave him probably this size for cleaning. I would probably cut him down one more. And that's how you cut up a t-shirt. Do the same with the front, and that's it. Jamie's on. Hello, Jamie. So isn't that a good idea? <laughs> okay, now we cut some soap, and then we'll take questions and answers. <laughs> Mike is a casualty again. <laughs> yes. Oh, you can go ahead and tilt up camera one. Thank you, sir. I'm the only camera. Takes you back to having newborns, hey, eh, Mike? Oh, have yeah. mercy. Ellie had pyloric stenosis when she was born. And for those of you who don't know, it's where your stomach doesn't digest your food. And she would eat and hurl it six feet across the room. It was a nightmare. <laughs> How did she get nutrition? She didn't. She started losing weight she and we had to take her, her to the hospital. She lost from her birth yeah. weight. By two months, she was less than her birth yeah. weight. Yeah, so we had to take her to the hospital and then they finally gave her some medicine and that's why you are so lucky to have your sister alive today. Oh, you may have sat in some. It's on the cabinet too. <laughs> is it really? Oh, it is. Thank you, right. Jamie. Here's the sweet orange and chili, guys. I went ahead and put it up on my <laughs> Etsy store. Mike, can you go to the <coughs> Etsy store, please? Wait, what am I doing? My soap. Um, I had several people wanting my orange soap. I cannot ship this until March 28th. Wait, but you're already done with the paper towels for the betterment of mankind? But you guys can get it and I will ship it then. I'm sharing the no, Etsy I'm waiting now. for questions. Oh, questions? And comments. I think I was largely caught up on them. Um, oh, you were? Actually, Debbie originally asked a while ago which toilet paper was the winner. So it was... Um, if you have a membership, Sam's or Costco was the cheapest. And then the next one was uh, the Walmart Great Value 6 roll, not the 12 roll. It was kind of funny. The 6 roll was the cheapest, but the 12 roll was the most expensive, which I thought was pretty interesting. Everyone says you're making your mother nervous. She was worried about you with the rotary cutter. Now she's worried about you with the soap cutter. But this isn't gonna. This isn't very sharp. No, it's just a guitar it's string. It's a guitar string. Yeah. If countertop, if your countertops could talk. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, no kidding. If my countertops could talk, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh man. This... Brenda says, "Way to get you back." <laughs> Way to get me back. She said she would need air freshener too. Oh. <laughs> Actually, man, that's like. I hope I didn't use too much of that. Is that the one that's... That's the one that you can no longer buy that I've been saving for every anniversary until we die. I was going to say, it smells really nice. Does it smell like our wedding? Yes. Does it re do you remember that day? <sighs> when you I do. became your wife? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't remember my wedding. Isn't that horrible? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're actually married? Are you sure you're the one I married? How do I know you're actually the person I married? Oh, well, you don't think so. <laughs> Man! This could be scary here. Yeah, it was really tough with Ellie. And the other thing is, I'm sure all of you who've had kids can understand, but there were times where changing diaper, because I was the diaper changing dad. <laughs> you did very well, thank you. And um, and I greatly appreciated it. And there were times where I'm changing the diaper and all of a sudden it was like, <gasps> and I was thinking, do I leave the kid here? Or do I? And I was thinking, I have to power through this. <laughs> Got to power through this. It's not going to kill me. And you never left the kid. No, and what I've realized since that is, you know, people make too much about that, really. It's just poop, people. Well, and it's just your own poop. kids. It's not like it's some just poop. Yeah. We all have it. But and if I you don't tell you... have it, go get a doctor's um, help. But I have to say, after I got them kind of cleaned up, I first thing I did was go to the bathroom and wash it off. Now, I will say on this 
paper towel test. I really do not understand why people buy cleaning wipes. I have bought them twice to test them out because everyone raves and raves and raves about them. But here's the thing. Not you, me. What I do is I just keep, keep my homemade cleaning solution in a spray bottle. It disinfects. It's great. Michael, go get the link for you because I didn't get the link. I forgot. Uh, hang on, just a second. Somebody was asking for the soap cutter review link. So, oh, uh, she's using a soap cutter and this review, we mean, sorry, we made a video review here that has in the description of it, the place where Tara got it. So somebody made it for her and you can get one from him too, if you want. Yeah. Um, uh, what am I going to get? What? The homemade, uh, wipes. Okay. Oh, so in the wait. homemade wipes is the cleaner I use, but all I do is I keep the cleaner this one? in a bottle. Yes. I keep the cleaner in a bottle and I just keep a paper towels in the bathroom and I use one paper towel to wipe down the toilet and one paper towel to wipe down the sink. Not the same paper towel. Now, if you want to use a rag to clean the bathroom, you start with the sink. And then you go to the bathtub and then you clean the toilet. And that is a way to use a rag without getting more rags. And you can clean all three on the same one. And then after you're done with the toilet, put it in the laundry. Okay. Now, the other tip I want to tell you, um, which we should probably do a show on this, but if your bathroom is smelling like, you know, not so fresh, <coughs> like little boys, you guys, you gotta clean around the back and the bottom and the front of the toilet bowl. Oh yes. You guys need to hit all of that. The reason and why the it's back. smelling is because you're not cleaning the back of the wall. You're not cleaning behind the toilet on the floor. You're not cleaning all those little crevices around the toilet. Cause long story short, if you have guys in the family, you don't know what could happen. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dave knows. Uh. <laughs> so that's why. So. When I'm using paper towels, I use a separate one for the sink and the toilet. When I use a rag, I clean the sink, I clean the bathtub, I clean the floor, and then I clean the toilet. <laughs> uh, wow, lots of people with baby poop stories. Ew. Uh, oh, Gloria, so did she attach the guitar string to something? Yeah, the, this, I don't know if you can see Dave on the camera. Oh, actually. Mama, hold There's up. a hole right here. The guitar string goes through there, comes and it has its arm through there. here and through here. So the guy that made it for us um, just built that from scratch. Yeah. He's like the number one soap cutter maker guy. He is great. His name is Bud. He's on Etsy. I'll share his link again. Yeah. He doesn't pay us to say this. We just, no. We just... He did give me this to review for free, but I will not do reviews on products that I do not like. I can tell you that right now. I will never preview or review or give a product. And if I do review it, like what happened with my soap molds, I will go in and retract if they don't end up being the product that they say it's supposed to be. So, <clears throat> and you can give me all the flack you want. I'm still doing it anyway, because it really hacks me off when I buy a product that's supposed to be lifetime and it fails. It really makes me mad. Uh, oh, I'm going to save the link again or show the link again for how to save money on paper mm. towels in case you're just joining us and you saw that. Also, I'm going to remind everybody, as usual, if you can't find any of the links that you wanted to see in the comments, you can go to livingonadime.com, click show notes, and all the links for the show are there. Yep. So, Mom, someday could we try a quote-unquote all-in-one sense uh, soap thing? Mix all the scents to together. Get a tiny bit of all the scents that are downstairs together. I don't think that would be good. It'll probably smell like your soap room. Oh, good. I smushed oh, it. She smushed oh, there's it. one for Mike. This is going to be the Mike bar that I smushed. Plus, it was smaller than the others. So. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle says, Oh no, you're scaring me. I'm pregnant with a boy, first child. Well, in my experience, the boys were easier. <laughs> <coughs> That doesn't mean they're easy. Uh, That's easy yeah. for you to say, Dad, because you're a guy. Good looking Kellums and the green is great too. Thank you. 
Um, so you guys can get all my soaps. The um, cucumber wasabi cilantro is also on there, and my black raspberry vanilla is also on there. So <laughs> Kelly says she's going to be scrubbing the bathroom well tomorrow and see if it starts smelling better. Okay, here's the thing. I We need to do a show on how to clean your toilet. You need to clean the wall all the way around it. What I do is I spray my disinfectant cleaner, which is mostly rubbing alcohol. I spray it all over the wall. I spray all over the outside of the toilet bowl, the whole thing, the back, the bottom, all those little curvy things, the front, and also spray all the floor. I do a perimeter around the toilet about this big and get all of it around the toilet and then you will start smelling better. What's happening is the bacteria, you're not cleaning in those crevices enough and the bacteria is harboring and growing in there because it continually stays wet. We've also used the ultraviolet light on there to see the fluids in there and it is nasty oh. what you see on the wall. So, so people are still asking about the oops. I have no idea where you can get it. Well, I just got it at my grocery store. At which one, King Super? King Super, at Kroger. At our Kroger store. Okay, let's see. Is Oops, there a website or... on here? No. Right here. Oh, there D -O -P -H -E -S. is. D-O-P-H-E-S. D-O-P-H-E-S. Uh, let's see. D-O-P-H-E-S. Now, it says that they're streak-free, machine washable, and eco-friendly. Reusable, absorbent, durable, and lint-free. It doesn't look like you can actually buy it there, but there's a website that's D-O-P-H-E-S dot com. I don't know, but... Oh, they have a lot of products on here. It's not the only one. Hmm. But I thought it was kind of interesting, and I thought it was a good alternative because I will be honest, I do have a problem. Even though I use no fabric softener, and I use, um, <coughs> I they're 100% cotton. These don't clean as well for windows, and um, they don't absorb as well, I don't think. Yeah, and Mike is really good at finding stuff, so, and I am not finding it very well. Oh, oh, Amazon.ca has it. It's D O P H E S. Well, oops, all What's purpose chamois one? cloth. What's this one here? E cloth? Hmm. Nope, that's microfiber. I don't hmm. know. Here, let me just Google it here now that I know what it's called. <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot of people are asking for it. Oops. Uh, but wow. Yeah. Amazon.com in the U S doesn't have it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's funny because it says something about Canada. So it's on Amazon.ca. If you, if you're in Canada, you can get these from but there. They were just I wonder if they're the, new. I don't know. They were just in with the, they must be, they were just in with the paper towels and all the cleaning supplies. And there's 10 of them. So these are cheaper than the Skoy that we bought on Amazon. And it says they're reusable and washable. And what I liked about them is they absorb better. And I'm going to try and clean with them and see how well they clean, too, because I'm kind of curious. Oops, I'm starting to see now, questions. Now, I will say on rags, a note on rags. <clears throat> now, we have rags that are cleaning rags, rags that are just everyday rags, and then rags that are throwaway. Now, <clears throat> I keep them all in the same place. In my mind, I know which are which for the kids. <coughs> we have enough that I don't really care which what they use, but don't be afraid to throw away rags, guys. Um, here's the thing. BJ was going to get rid of all of these shirts, so I'm cutting them up for rags, and then when he needs to check the oil, he'll just grab one of these and check it. And they're not the kind of shirts that if you gave them to the thrift store, people would actually want to wear. No, they would go to the rag bag. They're pretty worn out. And... If we need to keep clean up cat puke or dog puke or whatever, <clears throat> grab one of these, clean it up, and throw it away. Don't wash that stuff in the washing machine. That is a little gross, I will say, unless you're bleaching it. And you need to rinse it out first if you do. Go outside and rinse it outside in the hose in the yard or something. But <coughs> I do just... not be afraid to throw away your racks. I somebody asked about sharing disinfectant or homemade disinfectant. I shared the the homemade Clorox wipes. 
Okay. And I'll also share five homemade cleaners, which actually has that on there okay. too. And we don't the, have any other one, do we? No. And the other thing, guys, stop just leaving your paper towels on the counter. People are using them because they're there and they're handy. I keep one wash rag, one dish towel at my sink all the time. The dish towel hangs on the stove all the time except for the show. The dish rag hangs in the <clears throat> sink all the time. I change it every day. I get a fresh dish towel and a fresh rag every day so we don't have to worry about germs. If um, we clean up something really germy like meat, blood, like... Um, vomit, poop, whatever, those either go use rags that I throw away or I clean them out outside and then I put them in the bleach load of white laundry, okay? Uh, and really, you guys are making it too hard. This unpaper towel thing is, a, is absolutely crazy. Stop making it so hard. Just cut yourself up some rags, cut up some old towels, Get yourself a pack of wash rags. If nothing else, just go buy some wash rags and have one color be for rags and one color be for dishes, whatever you want to do, however you want to do that. <clears throat> but stop making it so hard. Uh-oh. Am I supposed to do something here again? You're supposed to give me questions. Aha. Uh -huh. um, what do you use to clean the inside of the refrigerator as far <clears throat> as a cleaner? I use water and soap. And if there's meat blood, I will put a tiny bit of bleach in my water and use that. I don't, I don't know what you, I, I haven't seen what you do, but I usually take everything out and wipe it all down. You do that mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah, if, if, if like meat spilled blood all over it, <coughs> we take everything out and bleach the whole thing down. Don't use full strength bleach. You need just a little, like a half a cap full in a bucket of water is all you need and it kills. Peggy's asking, do you ever make a floral scented soap like Lily of the Valley or Jasmine? Yes, I do. But I don't have any right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I started <clears throat> using your spray bottle idea for alcohol. Absolutely love it. Now, here's the thing with rubbing alcohol. It shines and it disinfects. It is a great cleaner. So what I, my basic cleaner is rubbing alcohol, a squirt of rubbing, a squirt of dish soap, like less than a teaspoon, Rubbing alcohol about a third of the, well, not even a third, like a quarter of a cup. I don't even know what the exact recipe is because I just dump it in my spray bottle. A little bit of vinegar <clears throat> to cut grease and then um, water. Kelly, even with bleach, you'd have chunks in the washing machine. Is this for... Yeah, that's why I'm saying if you clean up vomit or poop or something like that, you don't put chunks in your washing machine. That's gross. Wash it out outside, wash it into the toilet, wash it somewhere, but not in your washing machine. Uh, M. Brown says, Tara, did you ever try the washcloths I sent you? What did you think of the scrubby ones? Yes, I love them. Thank you. And actually, they are right here. Woohoo. Yes, I love them. <laughs> Can you use your cleaner on a bathtub that does not have tile walls? Uh, has a solid one piece wrap around molded plastic with little shelves. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you can. Now, for those, if you want to clean soap scum, the best cleaner that I have found for soap scum is Dawn dish soap, vinegar, and rubbing alcohol. The Dawn cuts the grease, the vinegar cuts, helps cut the scum, and the alcohol disinfects. <laughs> Next live In video water. from your bathroom. I am not missing that one. Thanks, Kathy. We should not clean the bathroom like three weeks. <laughs> oh, Alice, that Alice would be says bad. You should, if, if people have trouble, they should retrain the boys by dumping Cheerios in the toilet and having them aim at them. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, what cleaner do I use? I use my homemade cleaner mostly. I do use the works on our shower and bathtub, but for the toilet and the sink, I use my homemade cleaner Dawn dish soap. Rubbing alcohol, a little bit of vinegar and water. Yay. We don't have very many cleaners. We don't, we don't have tons and tons. <clears throat> no. Um, let's see. Have you heard of nano towels? Never heard of it. Are they like itty bitty little towels? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, Kelly said that sums up parenting in a nutshell. It's just poop. Everyone has it. <laughs> 
Mike has the battle scars. That's how he knows that he's the one Tar married. Oh. That should really not be a weird thing. It's just her body removing the stuff that intoxicates it. Very good. He. No, that's This actually, comes from the man who frees his colon. That's, no. Of its bondage. What? No, I never said that. <laughs> Whatever. He's never said that on camera. <laughs> now your secret is out. <sighs> use newspaper and vinegar and water to clean no, windows. No, do not use newspaper, vinegar, and water to clean your windows. That is not good. The thing is, newspaper is made with soy ink now. And the ink rubs off and you get this film all over your windows. Hmm. Don't use newspaper anymore for your windows. But you used to be able to use it. Before all the environmentalists went crazy. And all the kids kept eating newspaper. Why kids would eat newspaper, I don't know. But That's before delicious. they changed the lead like from the ink to soy ink like 25, 30 years ago. Kathy um, says, if anyone has hard water, the best cleaner is, it works toilet cleaner. Yes. I also use the toilet cleaner for my tub and shower. I think Tar mentioned it once too. Yeah, so we use the works. Mike discovered it when he was renting an apartment with a guy when we lived in Idaho and he had to drive 100 miles each way to the work. The bathroom was black. And, and it I got, wasn't a black bathroom. I got It was white fixtures that were black. And I got the works and I think I scrubbed it about three times with a massive amount of elbow grease. And, but here's the but nothing else would have gotten it off at all. Here's the thing with the works though, guys. Let the product do the work. Now it is really strong. So what I do is I turn on the fan, spray <coughs> it on my shower or my bathtub, let it sit for two or three minutes, then I go in and scrub it. Don't do all this scrubbing and kill yourself. Let the product do the work. The same if you use like a Dow bathroom cleaner. Mom loves Dow bathroom cleaner. She'll spray it the on. Scrubbing bubbles. Let, yep, she'll let the bubbles do the work and then she'll go in and clean. Yep. Uh, a lot of people <clears throat> talking about rubbing alcohol and peroxide. They say rubbing alcohol and peroxide works great. Yeah, you, but you don't need to do that because they're both disinfectants. So you can use one or the other. Now, why I don't like peroxide is peroxide will bleach and rubbing alcohol won't. Well, so if I clean, I don't want to bleach my clothes. So that's why I use rubbing alcohol because I don't want to have bleach bleach my clothes and I don't want peroxide to bleach my clothes. Well, I can't remember who was saying it, but somebody was talking about having a, they used to have a little bucket on the counter with a rag in it with bleach water. The problem is in our family, that bleach water will get on your clothes for sure yeah. somehow. So especially like somebody wipes the counter and then if you just lean up against it slightly, you get a white spot right across your yeah. your belly or whatever yeah. part of you touches the counter. So, uh, somebody was saying, <clears throat> uh, oh, Kelly, rubbing alcohol is great on mirrors. We love it for mirrors. Yes. And I love it for mirrors. And, well, shine your sink. Sign your, <clears throat> shine your sink. Sh sink faucet. Shine, shine your, your sink, sink faucet. faucet. Madam M says, twister. in my opinion, shower sprays are a waste of money. You know, I would say if you if you keep it pretty clean, you don't really need them. But yeah. things like the works are good for something that really hasn't been taken care of very well. This one is black raspberry vanilla. Now here's the trick in the bathtub. If you guys take baths instead of showers, put a small amount of bubble bath in there and that will cut down on the amount of cleaning you have to do as frequently because the grease and the scum does not cling to the bathtub as much when there is a little bit of ba bubble bath in it. Hmm. <clears throat> Denise says, I can't bend down into my tub because the door track hits my pacemaker. I need something that I can't scrub. Like, like a cleaner that you just, oh, we have that shower cleaner, don't we? Yeah, and they have those long things on a pole now. I would just go to Bed Bath & Beyond or Walmart and get one of those. Angela's asking, what's for dinner? I think it should be day night since we're dressed. Since we're all fancyified? Yep. Where are you gonna take me? Probably the usual. <laughs> oh, so I was gonna say, don't say the name. We'll have all our fans going to eat dinner with That'd us. That'd be all right. Take her Actually, to oh, oh, oh! Take her to McDonald's. What? So, I have a question. Take me to McDonald's. Thanks, D Dave. You need to step up your dating here. You're getting close to getting no, the girls. You better watch like, it. Uh, Aunt, what's her name's? Uh, what's <laughs> Jasmine soap would be Kelly awesome. Ash. Make it soon, please. Um. Okay. So here's the thing. Bandana Grandma may be coming to see us in June or July. What? We'll take you to the Rocky Mountain National Park. They've never been west of Tennessee. You should. We'll take you to the Rocky Mountain National Park. 
We know all the best spots. But here's yeah, the thing. Kind of... When she comes, should we do a Living on a Dime meetup? Ooh. A Living on a Dime and Bandana Grandma meetup. That would be so cool if we had Bandana Grandma and Living on a Dime at the same meetup. If we do, we should do meetup. it at our favorite little spot in the National Park. Well, but then everybody has to pay to get into the National Park. Oh, that's true. Hmm. We should find out when there's a free National Park Day. <laughs> Actually, save money. Meet us for our meetup on free national park. That's day. not a bad idea. Except you'd have to do it at seven o'clock in the morning. So I wonder otherwise if it'll we, take them an hour to get I in the gate. I wonder if we could coordinate them coming with free national park day. <laughs> we could do that. <coughs> if we got up at six o'clock in the morning and got there first thing, we'd probably get our space. Yeah. Don't you think? Yep. Uh, Christina is asking, is that the soap you did the hanger swirl in, Tara? Yes, it is. So Laura thinks Taco Bell. So, um, we may in June, the end of June, July, possibly do a meetup for living on a dime. We're talking about it. If anybody thinks you might be interested in coming to that in Colorado, in Colorado, we might do that. Maybe we'll see. Maureen is asking, is the work sold in the supermarket? Yes. It's just sold with the cleaners. They have it at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, your regular grocery store. All those places have it. Uh, Terry, which paper towels did you decide on? The, basically the ultra cheap ones. The Walmart brand was the actually the cheapest, the single oh, roll. Jamie's just checking to make sure there's no puke on you guys. Oh yeah, we got puke all over. We need Jamie to come over and help us clean. Actually, you guys should see it's all over the tripod. Here, can you take the camera off and show them the tripod? <laughs> oh snap. Look what oh, I did snap. to the tripod. Oh man. You're going to have to clean that woman. That's not my job. <laughs> I draw the line at cleaning fake puke off of my tripod. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard to see. But there's, it's right here. It's right up here. It's <laughs> right all along on the top. It's nasty. Is it on this side too? Yeah. Kelly says, I think there's a free National Park Day in July. Yeah, actually. I don't see any on here. So. We live in Colorado and Rocky Mountain National Park had, um, they were proposing like an $80 entry fee or something oh, like that. Word. And I was thinking, ugh, that would be crazy. <clears throat> because... And July is my birthday month. Yeah. We I mean, could have Andrew. Tara's biggest birthday party ever. <laughs> do Maybe. I turn anything this year? I don't turn anything special this year, do Maybe I? Maybe $80 for like a two-year <clears throat> annual pass or whatever. I don't know. So Jen is wondering <laughs> if you have any suggestions on how to save when switching from real milk to almond milk. Just don't drink milk. That's what I've done. I, I, I keep going off of milk to test to see if it makes my fibromyalgia better. Honestly, the only milk I can stand is flax milk, kind of. But you just got to suck it up and do it. It's really actually pretty gross. I don't like it, but... M. Brown says, my absolute favorite cleaning cloths are the cheap unfolded cloth diapers. Yeah. We love yeah. those. And ours are left over from when we actually use them as cloth yeah. diapers. I have BJ and Ellie's cloth diapers still left that I use. That's true. Cloth diapers, I think, are the best. They really are. Yeah. And they're easy to clean. So. And they're easy to clean. <clears throat> I should say, if you use cloth diapers, <clears throat> I imagine most people don't now, but if you do, when you wash them, Put a little vinegar in there. Yeah. <laughs> like a cup of vinegar. It'll... Yeah. Uh, what do I think about the spray every shower cleaners that are supposed to keep you from cleaning the shower? Okay, I actually have that in um, right here. Dining on a dime with puke on it. 405. Nice. Right here. Daily shower cleaner. Fake puke. It's fake puke Page on it. 405 and dining on a dime. The thing is, you have to use it. And we don't use it because we can't get every family member to use it. So it, if you use it, it's fine and it works. <coughs> Terry says, I love your shirt. <clears throat> Thank you. I got it for $3 today. I was so excited. <laughs> I just felt like a new woman with my new hair. $3? Yes. That awesome That's woman. what I said. $3 for my shirt and my new mm -hmm. pants that are now filthy with puke. Oh, yeah. It splattered, <laughs> Phyllis said it splattered on your pants, too. It did. I'm going to have to wash my new pants. Um... <clears throat> Terry, oh, I already said Terry loves it. Danola says, July is my birthday, too. Yay, July's the best month to be born. Don't you think no, July's the June best is month the best. to be born? No, June is the June best. June is the dominant month. I think July. No, June is the dominant June month. Kisses. Which oh. month is the best month to give your little boy kisses? June. 
Did we say something about December a kitty? December the millisecond. Huh? Did we say something about a kitty? Terry's asking what's wrong with the kitty, but I didn't know if he said Oh, something. we used to have two cat cats that would puke all the time. We don't anymore. We One has gone to kitty heaven, and the other one has gone to... Well, we don't know our where she's gone to. Our favorite one went to kitty heaven. Yeah, our favorite one went to kitty heaven. The other one was... Was not our cat. <clears throat> but she didn't... But, she really didn't like it amongst... Well... We had two animals, and then... We had a dog and a cat. Then our brother-in-law died, and our niece moved in with us with her two cats. And then her... And it was a zoo and a half around here. One of her cats was kind of having a meltdown about yeah. all the other animals, and, and she got she just was sick a lot. And we yeah. finally found a new home for her because we, we thought she was pretty miserable. So. Yeah. But then BJ's cat, which was our, probably our favorite cat, um, she just... She had diabetes and she had a heart attack one day. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Yep. That, that was, was pretty sad. sad. That, that was, was a very a sad, sad day. day. I agree. But good news on the kitty front. Tour had says <laughs> they were so excited that their cat that's been missing for a year showed up. <gasps> a year? And they were super. They were excited. They were celebrating and they were really, really oh excited. Oh my goodness. That is one. Don't you just wish they had a camera on their head during that whole time? Which somebody was asking, do you wonder where she was? And, and Tourette said, yes, I wonder, but she's trying to tell us. She's saying all kinds of meow, meow, but wow. they don't know what it means. Buster and Chumley, yes. <laughs> They're the two that are still here. So March is the best, my first month. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and who is it? <clears throat> my mom's is July 28th, Madeline says. Oh, the day before mine. See, Did she picked a good month. And Denise, the 23rd of March. We'll have to get that when the day comes. <laughs> All right, let's see. So it was almost 70 today, and I was like croaking. Was, and I'm thinking, are we going to be able to handle it in Mississippi? I don't know. I was thinking it will be nice to have some nice days because we've had a lot of close to zero Fahrenheit days, which would be in the far into the negative Celsius. Oh, thank you, Jamie, for putting up my soap channel. Thank you, thank you. Put up yours, Jamie. Oh, Stacy says just subscribed. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, hey, were you going to tell people about that? So here's, so I told you guys about it at the beginning, but here's the thing. Facebook has this new thing called stories. And on the top of your Facebook page, you'll see these little circles. And if you see one that's living on a dime or save on groceries, if you're on our save on groceries Facebook page, when we put a new video up or an announcement, look at that little dot. And when it's, I think when it's blue, it means you haven't watched it, and then it goes away after you watched it, I think. Wow, lots of birthdays. Jamie, July 27th. I didn't know that. Did you? You knew that. No, Jamie's is a July 27th. Oh, she says July 27th. Uh, I think she may be mine. Oh, yours. Day. Okay. Wendy, July 26th. Simply Joyful, July 27th. Phyllis, July 30th. We'll have to remember. November 23rd is the uh, best day of the year. <laughs> right, Stacey? Oh, and Brown says we need a buster cam. Yeah. I think oh. February 29th is the best year. Jamie said it was you, but she pushed the wrong button. But she pushed the nine, but somehow she <clears> said, <throat> I totally pushed the nine. <laughs> uh, Kathy, the works toilet cleaner works better on the tub and their shower cleaner. We have well water and had to replace the pump and it took over a week to get the water clear tub. Okay, so here's the deal. I would not use the toilet cleaner in the shower though. Just use the regular works. Because when I did that, it ate the finish off my tub faucet. <laughs> so I would just use the works bath and tub. But the trick is, is to let it sit for a couple of minutes before you start scrubbing. Wow. And use a green scratchy thing. I use the green scrubby things on my tub. Terry so. said it was only 40 in Kentucky today. <clears throat> Wow. wow. We've been in the single digits, and then yesterday it got to be pretty nice. It was like 60-something, and today it was 60-something, and tomorrow it's supposed to be 69, which is, you know, Colorado, the Front Range, which is the area right in front of the mountains on the east side, <clears throat> it's a, uh, it actually, we kind of go through cycles where it gets really cold, and then it's kind of nice and mild, and then a little warm, and then really cold again. That's <clears throat> pretty typical Colorado winter in this part of Colorado. In the mountains, tends to stay colder most yeah. of the time. Wow, so. Dad. Jack's tummy is not feeling well. 
So. so you know he must be really sick if he's saying that on a Friday night. Yep. We need to go read Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. Aww. So he brought home Don't Let the Pigeon, Aww. drive the bus from school, and we loved it so much that we had to go get some of the other ones. After we found out from Going Batty that they were, uh, that there were other ones. So. All right, guys, visit us at livingonadime.com. Go buy our books. We have all of our books and our store at livingonadime.com. And have a wonderful weekend. Have a great night. Please like, subscribe, and share. And to all your friends and family, what fun you have watching us. <laughs> and we will be back Monday, and then after that, Wednesday, Friday, and the next Monday, we're going to be in... We're going to be in Mississippi, y'all. Mississippi, y'all. Yep. We're going to go see us some gators. What? Should we eat some gator while we're down there? Oh, gross. Tara's we'll got this thing there. about gators. Did you see? that 15 foot alligator it was huge it was as big as a car <laughs> wow somebody else said we had a cat gone uh cowgirl glitter we had a cat gone for a whole year too wow that is crazy hmm. all right guys see you later visit us at livingonadime.com bye have a great weekend <laughs> date night